Good morning, Marpost One, and welcome to IPC Art on Tuesday, the 12th of May. Today, you're going to need a few pieces of paper. Only one of them needs to be clean. The others are just for us to lean on to make our drawings a bit nicer. You're going to need a pencil. If you've got a B, let's see if we can see that B. Oh. If you've got a B pencil, which you might have from your home learning pack if you collected it from school yesterday, can't quite see on this one. There we go. If you've got a B, that would be great. If you've got an HB, that will be fine too. And an eraser. That, those are the three things that you need today. Just paper, pencil and eraser. We're going to be artists and we're going to draw our houses and homes. Now I'll show you what I'm looking at. There you go. There's my front door. This is my house and I'm going to draw my house on this piece of paper. Now there's a special type of job for people who design houses. They're called architects and architects use fancy paper. They use rulers. They use protractors. They use all sorts of materials and tools to make sure that their pictures are correct. We are not going to be architects today, we're going to be artists. So we just need our pencil, really nice sketching grip, and we're going to draw what we can see. Not what we think is there, so I'm not just going to draw a roof and two windows and a door, I'm going to look carefully. I'm starting to do that now, here it is. Okay, I'm looking at the different materials, I've got this big black space, big black space up here. I've got two windows that are the same size but the, the door isn't smack in the middle. We've got a big space on this side and not so much space on this side. I've got these lights here as well. I need to include those and I've got this lovely galana patterning across here. I could draw the doormat. I might not though. We will see. Okay, I'm thinking about the big shapes that I can see before I start my drawing. And I've got the point of the roof that starts over here and goes up off my page like that. Can you see how lightly I'm holding my pencil? Holding it really lightly so people can pull it out really, really easily. I'm not really pressing hard because I won't be able to erase it. I won't be able to rub it out. So I'm just going to sketch that line in because I'm happy with that one and you can see that. And then I've got exactly the same thing on the other side. But to get that angle, I'm just going to turn my page so I can sketch that. And then I decide if I'm happy. And if I am, then I can draw the big part of the building that comes across here. Like this. Now I'll show you what I'm looking at now. I've just drawn this line here and this line over here and then the big black bit that goes across there. Those are some of my really important shapes. And the other one is the part down at the bottom. I've got a really straight line on mine that goes all the way across the bottom of the page. Can you see how I'm just sketching really, really lightly? If there are some lines that I don't like in the end, I can use my eraser to very easily rub those out because I didn't press hard at all. Okay. Now, the next big shape that I'm going to draw is the door. Now the door, from where I'm looking at it, does sit right in the middle. So I'm finding the middle of my page. I want my door to be about here now. This is where some people might be tempted to use a ruler, but we are sketching today. So you get your pencil, and just very lightly. Look how I'm holding my pencil, just incredibly lightly, very, very gently. Not right down next to the point, just like that. Am I happy with the height of my door? Yeah, I'm looking at the space. Now what I do have at the bottom is a step that comes across. Now I'm going to put that in now, so I know how wide my door needs to be. There we go. And then I'm going up. I can see Miss Barnes is watching me now through the window over there. Look, there she is. That's a good material for the window fabric because we can see through it, but it doesn't let the mosquitoes in. And then across we go here. Great, now that's just the actual part of my door. It also has a frame. Now my door frame is really, really detailed and wooden, but I'm just gonna put in the shape of it at the moment for it to go around. I'm trying to keep the same spacing all the way. Can you see how lightly I'm using my pencil? If I make a mistake, I can always go back and erase it. Go. 
Now later on, when I've done all of the big shapes, I'll come back and I'll put in those Swahili carvings, those patterns around the wooden frame of the door and on the door itself. But looking at my door and looking at my picture, at the moment I'm pretty happy. Now I've got the window. Now some of my window might go beyond the page, but that's fine. It starts off at the same height of the door and it's got a little gap on this side. I'm just going to put a little mark there and then on this side it's a bit further away and I know this window is going to go off my page. Off it goes. Okay. Now I come down and it's through about here, I think. My window goes to about here. So I'm just planning before I draw anything, sketching really, really lightly. It's not a very straight line, so I can change that and then get my eraser and rub out the bit I'm not happy with. Much easier to do than if I'd press really hard to begin with. Then I can go across for my window. Now my window, oh, it's almost a perfect square. So mine's going to go right to the edge of my page here. I'm happy with that. That's the frame and then I'm trying to keep the frame the same thickness as this one. So the frames match. This is the wooden frame of the window. I'm happy with the frame. There's a line here where it splits down the middle. It's also made from wood. You can see this part inside. And then we've got the bars one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bars that go across. I'm going to press a little bit heavier, do a little bit more shading so we can see them. Alright. I'm going to make these a bit longer and I need to do the same on the other side even though it goes off the page. Now if we look back here you can see I've got those shapes, my door's in, one side window is in, I need to do the other window. So I do the other window now over here but there's a bigger gap remember I've got that light that sits in here so it's a bigger gap I'm looking across to this side to make sure it's all in a straight line. That's my frame and then I can put the actual window part in as well. I'm always looking and checking that I'm happy with what I've seen. I'm not trying to remember. I'm just looking to make sure what I've drawn is actually there. There's that middle section and again I need to do the bars that come across and we come on to some shading. Now I'm looking for the areas of shadow and darkness for this bit. I've got my lovely Galana which would be a really nice example but that's quite detailed so I'll do that towards the end. If I look at these bars for example on my window, these need to be much darker. They're made of quite a dark material so I can make those darker once I'm happy with them. Once I've sketched them to start with and I think yep that's how I want those to look, I can put them in a bit darker by going over it. I'm still not pressing hard, I'm just going over it and over it and over it so it's still nice and soft. I don't put big dents in my page with my pencil. And then I know there's a fabric there, I know there's a material, but I can't see the detail. I can see that this part of the frame is a little bit darker because it's on the inside. So I'm going to do some shading down here. Now I've still got a really loose pencil grip. I'm just going to do some shading, always in the same direction and down here like this to show that it's a bit darker and if I wanted to I could use my finger and I could do give a bit of a smudge like that so it becomes nice and smooth and you can't see those pencil marks. Okay, now that I've done that part I'm going to really lightly shade over all of this really lightly to show that it's darker than the walls. Just incredibly lightly to show it's that fabric, it's that material. I'm going in the same direction, keeping everything really, really smooth and not pressing hard at all. That's why I'm using the B pencil. 
I get a closer look at this. You can see my shading. Now again, I could smudge it, but I've got these big black lines. I might have to go over again if I've smudged it a bit. I'm thinking really carefully about the materials. In my house, I've got the concrete part, so it's made of stone and then covered with a render. We've got galana that comes around here, wooden frame, metal and plastic bars, uh, this fabric over here, door is made from wood, the lights are made from plastic and metal and fabric, so we're thinking about those materials as we're drawing them. You can draw more than one version of your house because you can stand in different places. It, in this version I'm going to get some wooden beams but I won't get any of the Makuti roof because I can't sit far away enough. So I could go for a walk and once I finished my first picture I could go for a little stroll around my house into the garden because it's not raining and think right where can I stand or sit that will give me a really nice view, a really nice perspective of my house. Now I was just sitting in this part here drawing my house but actually I like this because I can see lots of Makuti for the roof and I can see still wood here and the Galana and the actual Galana path going around and so I might decide to do my next picture from here or even further back so I can get the top of the roof in. Have a wander around your house today. Decide where you would like to sit and draw. Take something to lean on, take your paper, take your pencil and have an exp explore being an artist today. I'm going to finish my picture and I'll share it with you a bit later on, but I would love to see yours. You don't just have to do one, you can wander around and do more than one picture of your house. Remember, light sketching grip so you can erase it easily, lovely shading and draw what you can see, not what you think is there. Have fun everybody, I can't wait to see your pictures. Bye!